you know, the economy isn't doing very well on a global basis. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of more poor people every year. Yeah. And the middle class here in the U.S. and Europe aren't doing so well either. And the money is being concentrated on the top. One percent. So we're trying to demonstrate maybe the ways of the 30s and 40s, how people lived when they didn't have much money. So these fruit trees produce fruit, and my wife and daughter can them, so we have fruit, oh. fruit through the winter. Uh, oh. And so th this is our orchard right in here. Yeah. Oh. Over <clears throat> here are the maps. There's two sets showing the same thing. Hmm. One is showing the all the parks in this particular area, the uh, Miller Forest, the Castle Rock State Park. And this is a very unusual combination surrounding both sides of the river. This particular park in the spring has the most migratory songbirds of mm. any place in Illinois. They move through this forest. Mm. This is the acreage right here that you see out there uh, on the other side of the trees, the Christmas tree farm. And that's uh, 80, 82 acres. So uh, this was just to give you a pictorial. This particular building was quite old and uh, we were discussing tearing it down mm. and some students said, no, don't do that, let's make it a project. Oh. So we have, they helped me rebuild the inside and put insulation in the walls and mm -hmm. insulation in the ceiling. And then uh, we were at, and this gives us sun in the winter, so I don't need much heat, additional heat. The, the, the panel over here is a solar system. We were contacted by the head of the Methodist Church in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. because she wanted us to go to uh, Honduras, an island in Honduras, and install solar panels. Uh -huh. And she wanted my wife and I to work together, as we do, to demonstrate to the culture that you don't need to have women over here and men doing the other things. Mm -hmm. And she thought there was a woman there that was running a mission for the Methodist Church that would be uh, agreeing to this. And she got very frightened over the prospect of mm. that cultural change. Mm -hmm. That if she tried to make the men come in from fishing <clears throat> and work together with the women, solar electricity that it she'd be in trouble so the idea collapsed and we did a, a dry run we wanted to make sure we knew how to put the whole system together before we got down there because you don't know what equipment they have whether they have batteries the right wrenches and so we did the dry run put it up here and we were going to take it apart to, and take it down there that didn't happen, but since then we have sent a person to Jamaica mm -hmm. to install a solar system <clears throat> in a clinic that serves the rural poor. Uh, students from Northwestern in the medical school come oh. down for one week and they treat everybody that makes it to the clinic. Well, if the power goes out, then they can't do their work. Mm -hmm. So we contributed a solar panel battery and we sent uh, one person down to install that system. He got the system in place and the woman who asked us down there, her husband lives in Chicago, and when the hurricane hit, the only place on the island that had electricity was the was clinic, the clinic mm. where we put the solar system mm. in, and mm. it hit the Chicago news. Wow. And so that mm. was a fun one. And we just recently sent a, another person to Guatemala Hmm. to install a rural uh, electrical system again. When we were in Peru, we were asked to submit a bid and because in the rural schools, what we were doing was they wanted computers so the kids would work on the bid, computers that give electricity. And also, a teacher will teach 20 
20 or 30 young people, but they will be from grade school to high school in age, and so it makes it hard for the teacher. So they wanted to broadcast the, uh, the program to the school, and they wanted, uh, they were going to send out a computer disk. That's what they were going to do. Then the teacher would use that for about an hour in the morning to set the lessons up, and then the students would work at the computers, and they would have four computers. The cost was about 15000 but we chose oh, no. not to submit because we thought we were just being used Mm -hmm. the competition that see all these people who wanted to do the work and we didn't feel like going through all the work of doing mm -hmm. a bit. But that project is going on and mm -hmm. we taught at uh, the National University of Education. We gave a guest lecture there mm -hmm. and we brought the president of the university here to our energy fair and then he was over at Northern Hmm. And they were supposed to hire a faculty member for one year to work with the energy program in, in DeKalb. So this is a, what's called the DC system, if you'll step in here. My name is Lynn. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.